let's talk about QB behaving like a bit of a goit. Will Frampton, aka Quickie Baby. He is the largest World of Tanks content creator in the world. He's been creating content for over 10 years, streaming full time on Twitch since 2012, and his current YouTube channel sitting at 673,000 subscribers at time of writing was created in February 2013. Throughout this time, he's been a constant, reliable source of accurate information on the game and its mechanics. Blending that with a seemingly innocuous personality and impressive work ethic, it's allowed him to grow into to the relatively monolithic creator that he is today. However, there are some aspects about him, chiefly his actions, that some of us, especially those within the content creation sphere, are not so fond of, and I believe this is primarily prompted by the fact that he is extremely insecure. Before I get into my examples, my evidence of this, I feel it's merited to give a quick uh, word on cultured persona. Now, every single one of us manufactures our behaviours to a certain degree, behaving differently at home, at work, in a bar, etc. Right? But in very few of those circumstances do you have a similar level of creative control and assistive hindsight that is afforded to you as a YouTube creator. The reason that I bring this up is that if you are someone who's only ever consumed Quickie Baby's YouTube content, then some of the clips and footage that I show in this video may seem a bit jarring, may seem quite a departure from the relatively benign and inoffensive person presented on YouTube. So I want to impress upon you that the clips taken from Twitch are, in my opinion at least, more likely to be an accurate representation of Mr. Frampton's personality, simply by the merit of the fact that they are live, and as a result unable to be censored or, or changed retroactively. So all that said, we have a journey before us, and here is the structure. Intro, well you made it through that, well done. Now we have my experience. Why am I making this video? Gone this time tomorrow, reckon I don't know where I'll be. June 2020, Manaheim Line. Wind is blowing, ice is floating, barns are barning. There I was, in the midst of a subpar soiree in the FV4005, when I seized upon the chance to perforate a pattern. Hello, pattern. Would you care for a pat on the head? Ha, I ha, surrendered. Ha, ha, ha. Comedy. Come here. Subscribe for more jokes. <laughs> uh, behind us. Two fushes. <laughs> He panicked so much. Now, as you may have inferred, that was not just any pattern, that was the fatten in question. The quickest of babies, the fleetest of fingers, Mr. Frampton on his free-to-play account. He took the unauthorised fertilisation of his face fairly placidly, giving a brief analysis of the game circumstance before offering a customary GG's and moving on. Shit has got me. Pens his freaking HE shell through my side. Feels bad, man. Nice kill. It was a good one. GG. Got me good. Um well nice play by the enemy team. Uh they all they all did well. They all did well. I thought I could overturn there, and it looks like he managed to just club me through my uh maybe through my upper hole there. Nice shot. An amicable and mature response. Now, shortly after this, I was informed of who I'd just unceremoniously despoiled, prompting some healthy merriment. Oh, that was Quickie Baby? Oh, my bad. He should really? have angled. <laughs> <laughs> who was in which tank? Uh, he was in the pattern. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you gave him a good pat on the head. I did. I gave Quickie Baby a pat on the head. Uh, good streamer. Well done. <laughs> Give me all your viewers. <laughs> At some point, QB was also made aware of the fact that he'd just been demolished by a fellow content creator. 
His response, however, was a far cry from any of these fine examples. Well, I was a Twitch streamer. I'm the... Well, GG, fine sir. I shall get you next time. Oh, I was a YouTuber? I see, you are a devilishly handsome practitioner of gameplay. Oh, I was wolfed. Neat game. Where the hell am I going? Oh, oh God. Quickie, baby! Quickie, baby! Quickie, baby! No! No, please! Who would have known he was so athletic? No, not any of these responses that I think are mature, healthy, and reasonable, no. Instead, here's what happened. He became aware of this event via several messages popping up in his chat, such as That was 06 Wolst. That was Honest Gaming. And the rather excitable <laughs> Oh, 06 Wolst killed you, QB! <laughs> The YQB is like that in our chat too. These messages were entirely unprompted by me, I did not encourage this. Though it is expected if you know anything about Twitch. When one creator kills, beats, wins against another, there will be some gloating, some comments, perhaps some friction between the fans, it happens. Most of the time, if the creators themselves are good-natured, mature and relaxed about it, their fans will be too. In QB's case though, it prompted a period in which QB appeared to uh, conduct an epic pilgrimage, the likes of which you've never seen, all the way onto his desktop. I tell you lads, Daddy QB needs himself a good line of game. Let's roll out! Uh, sir, he's on his desktop. He's what? He's just on his desktop. What the feck's he doing on his desktop? I don't know, sir, that he's clicking the mouse a lot and humming the Thomas the Tank Engine theme. I swear to God, someone's put a feckin' cucumber emote in his chat again. This coincided with many of the viewers mentioning our little altercation being banned and or timed out. Here's the stream, as unedited as I can provide it while still providing full context and abiding by fair use. Toronto. It's a good hit. Bop, 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 bop. Man, whenever I see the FE405 now, I kind of think like, um, I think like, uh, I think about like, um, Thomas the Tank Engine music. Give me a sec, I'm just on my desktop. Huh. Man, Tanya's made some banger thumbnails today. I'm just trying to think about which one I like the most. I think it's this one. Tanya made like two or three thumbnails and they're all absolutely awesome. It's an awful game there for my pattern. I aimed really bad. Could be fiddling around with my YouTube video, of course. Now, you may think this is a little thin on the ground as far as evidence goes. You might say, Steve, well, he could have been doing anything. What makes you think he was, he was timing out your viewers? Well, aside from many of the people in question telling me that they had been banned, here's the stream footage side by side with the VOD stored on Twitch. Now, you'll be able to notice some odd discrepancies between the chat in the replay and the chat on screen. Certain messages, chiefly those ones relating to me, appear in the baked-in chat, but are not appearing in the chat when you play. All of these clips are provided in their entirety in the description so that you can verify this for yourself. The reason for this discrepancy I had to test. So what I did is I went live on Twitch. I got one of my viewers to bravely volunteer to take a ban and a timeout. In both cases, when he was banned and when he was timed out, his name did not appear in the chat when you play of the stream, even before it was banned. However, it did appear on the on-screen chat, 
Now, these chat functionalities are generally provided by means external to Twitch, so I can be a bit finicky with updating. Any streamer will probably back me up on that. But because the on-screen chat is baked into the video that is sent to Twitch, it cannot be changed retroactively by Twitch. This means that while in the chat replay, messages from users who are timed out or banned won't even appear, even before the time that they were banned chronologically in the stream, in the live chats captured on the stream that is sent to Twitch, this is not the case. We see all the messages sent up until the point that they were banned. This is what I believe is happening here. The people that appear in the live chat but not in the replay are those who have been banned or timed down. Now sure, he's, uh, Visit his desktop! He admits the minor fact that he's on his desktop banning my viewers. Listen. <laughs> he has the audacity to hum while he's banning my viewers! <laughs> now I'm not done. Let me put my detective hat on here quickly. I don't have a hat. Backscratcher! This is perhaps not the most well-founded accusation in this video, so to apologise for that, this high-velocity ping-pong ball machine is now going to shoot me a couple of times in my face. Ow! 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 Fiddlesticks. Alright. What bothers me is this comment. That's it. My whole day is ruined because I now have the Thomas the Tank Engine song in my head. Hmm. Thomas the Tank theme in his head. And that's interesting because this is not too long after the FB4005's train skin was introduced to the game. Which makes me think that the FB could still be on his mind for some reason. But that's ridiculous. Could be a complete coincidence, right? I... And I might be inclined to agree with you, well, not for the fact that a little while earlier, he said this. Man, whenever I see the FE405 now, I kind of think like, um, I think like, uh, I think about like, um, Thomas the Tank Engine music. That's it. My whole day is ruined because I now have the Thomas the Tank Engine song in my head. Still in your mind, QB. Is it that, that good old FE405? Wonder why that could be. Anyway, perhaps you're still not convinced, so let's stick with our fine, fair-haired friend here into his next game, where fortunately for us, the live chat was actually pretty good with updating. Though I'll let my live self demo this for us. Take it away, Steve! Look at, look at this man's eyes. Tell me if it, you think maybe he's, he's suddenly seen a particular comment. Bear in mind that this is one game after I, he got murdered by me in a shit barn and people were appearing in his chat saying, Oh, that was 06 Wolves. Do you play with 06 Wolves? 06 Wolves killed you, lol. All right, look at his eyes. That, that right there. Fuck, that's awesome. He sees it. He, he has seen a comment by one of my viewers, and we'll have a look at that comment in a second, right? He's seen it. So, minimizes the game. Let's have a look. Jochi! There's Jochi. Let me, let me get you out of the way, Twitch chat. Hang on. So, there, there you go. Alright, there you go. You can, you can be over there, over the, there. You're a healthy chat. Alright. Jochi. You see Jochi here? This, this blue name that my mouse is on? Alright, here. Nice to see my two favorite what streamers Quickie Baby and Wolf06 meet in game. Good vibes, game on. What a, what a pleasant message. I say it would take a really unreasonable, immature man child to ban a message like that, wouldn't it? Let's hope that that message doesn't suddenly mysteriously disappear at the exact same time that kid. Oh, wait, it's gone. Oh, oh my word, that, that message fell out of Twitch chat. Someone, someone, someone call someone, call a repair man, there's a hole in the floorboards of Twitch chat. That, that message just fell down the hole, and it's gone. I don't know when it went, it was there a second ago, it was there hey, a second I, ago. I was trying there to push is. it towards you, Stephen, and I pushed it into the fucking wall, sorry man. <laughs> then, ah, oh, it's gone again, wait, let's, no, we can get it back. Someone get a forklift, okay, it's back. Don't worry, chat, it's back. Oh, oh, no, it's gone again, oh, feck. Now, what's interesting to me 
Is that he says he's working on a thumbnail? Hold on, just handling a couple of things. Hold on. Telling Tanya she did a real good job with the thumbnail today. It's a beautiful one, man. Now, look, QB's chat is under QB's rules. If he wants to ban people for mentioning other streamers, that's entirely up to him. I personally think that's a bit bullshit, but it's his chat, not mine. Now, what bothers me more is the idea of him lying about it. The idea that he's minimizing the game, pretending to do something else, when in reality he's banning my viewers, that's bothersome. Because if you're gonna ban someone for breaking the rules, at least be transparent and honest about what those rules are. Like other Twitch chats have a set of chat rules for the chat to follow, QB has none. I think we can all agree you lying and being disingenuous about banning your viewers is not a good thing. Did QB do that? Yes. It's the one I might have said. See, we're going to move on now to a magical thing, and that magical thing is me being wrong. See, when I first constructed the idea of this scathing video, my narrative was, if you want to ban another streamer's viewers, then that's your call, but at least be honest about it. And I brought you through this video up until now in the same manner that I intended to craft that video, so that you could share in the experience of being Long. See, I don't believe that he does lie about it. I believe that he was working on a thumbnail at the same time. I believe he was messaging his wife. Further to that, I don't believe that he sees anything wrong at all with that behaviour. I came to that conclusion after having this clip presented to me. For context, this was the day after I banned him in the face, and someone, unprompted by me, went into his chat and asked him if he'd banned any of my viewers, which prompted a response which I personally consider to be quite ugly. Banned any of Volst's followers tonight? Well, you're going to be the first. Look at you. Of course I will. I'm... Firstly, I didn't ban any followers. What I did is I timed out people who were coming in chat and gloating about the fact that uh, somebody, like a content creator, I didn't even realise was in my game, came around the corner and clapped me in a bloody FE405 when I'm playing my pattern and I'm just chilling. Like, look at this. Look how pathetic of a weasel you are. That the first thing you'll ever say in my chat is some kind of, like, drama thing. Okay, watch this. Welcome. Enjoy. Previously suffered for two months. You think I give a crap? Get out of here, you scrub lord. You were probably leeching gifted subs from viewers who actually want to take part in this community. Well, good thing if you're banned now, you ain't gonna be getting any more gifted subs, Scrub Lord. Get out of here. Okay, good. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. So, turns out I was wrong. He admits it. Publicly. Proudly in front of anyone. Banning one of my viewers for all to see. Clearly, he's not lying about doing it. I was wrong. Now look, to be clear, if you have a set of rules, which QB doesn't, but if you have a set of rules clearly stated and enforced, and someone comes into your space with the sole intention of disrespecting those rules and being disruptive, I believe you are 100% within your rights to ban that bitch ass. This applies especially to streamers who regularly manage the number of viewers that QB has. It's entirely unreasonable to expect him to appreciate the nuance of every iffy comment in chat. Now, the minor issue of QB not having a rule set, so how can you expect people to follow the rules if you they don't know what the rules are? That's, that's another thing. But no, he brings up chat publicly, outs his name, calls him a pathetic weasel, then says he's probably leeching subs on people who contribute to the community. To me, that's just, that's just sickening. I, I would never treat my viewers like that, never. But as far as QB's concerned, that wasn't his viewer. That was mine. Which is in itself worrying. Furthermore, let's examine some logic. The question was, banned any of Wolf's followers recently? To which he responds, first of all- Firstly, I didn't ban any followers. What I did is I timed out people who were coming in chat 
and gloating about the fact that uh, somebody, like a content creator I didn't even realize was in my game, came around the corner and clapped me in a bloody FE405 when I'm playing my pattern and I'm just chilling. Oh, wow, QB, I, I am so sorry that I, that I killed you. I, I, I... And God, I happen to be another World of Tanks creator as well. How rude of me. And that I'm extremely sorry that you had to time out people from your chat who were gloating. Gloating. Gloating in your chat. That must be so hard. <laughs> Let me get my fucking violin. You cannot be serious. This man gets thousands of viewers, hundreds of thousands of comments over a given month's chat messages throughout any stream. And yet somehow, the ones that go out mention me, or that talk about another streamer, bother him so much that he tabs out of the game he is playing to get rid of them. If that behaviour is not rooted in insecurity, then I do not know what it is. Dress up the shit now, making a video like this is always dangerous territory. It would perhaps be easier to make if I were ignorant of my own obligations. Being aware of what I personally, as a creator in the World of Tanks space, stand to gain from a video like this allows me to be objective, but also compels me from a moral standpoint, if nothing else, to include this section. Section? Sex? First off, the fact that this video production was prompted by some less than stellar behaviour towards me may imply that this video possesses a vindictive or malicious quality, uh, some form of revenge for perceived transgressions. This was a possibility that, that I was open to, and I examined it and eventually dismissed it. Beyond the fact that I'm presenting factual examples to support my points, I'm offended by this, therefore it is wrong, is not an argument despite its prevalence in society today. People can say, do things that hurt me without those things being wrong. My indignation, justified or not, is not the basis of my views. Furthermore, to contradict this notion entirely, I could present the many examples, some from the very day of QB timing out my viewers, of me laughing gleefully about the childish behaviour. And by the way, the only thing I did in that game was shit on Quiggy Baby. Like, that was... <laughs> oh, QB, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Bless him. He was salty as... F really? I don't buy that. I typed 06 Wolves killed you and he chat banned me. <sighs> that's not him. That's a freaking one of his mods. That's just a normal thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell, I went in there to one time crack a joke about freaking Jingles uh, streaming and how everybody was going to see Jingles and leaving his channel and somebody got banned. Yeah, he doesn't seem to like that. I mean, it's his channel, he can do whatever he wants, but it just yeah, well, seems insecure know, to me. It. He's saying uh, he uttered your name and then realized it was you and banned several HG viewers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I believe that, just based on based on his history. I can believe it. Okay, guys, really, if you're in Quickie Baby's chat and you're getting your ass banned just and you're being a troll, Stop, guys. We don't want our reputation to be like that. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like, please, please don't go in there with the sole purpose of disrupting uh, his chat and getting yourself banned. Like, that's not what we do here. That's absolutely not what we do. It would be an oxymoron if we did that. Really turning into our <laughs> Voldemort, isn't it? <laughs> I love the idea that, like, I take that as a compliment. Like, that's a compliment to me. Like, I'm annoying enough. <laughs> that he bans my viewers. <laughs> uh, what a milestone, eh, chat? What a milestone. Just popped into QB's stream paid to highlight the following message. 06 will send his, sends his regards. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> I didn't send shit. Or 
before I could announce a 40 minute long video I made documenting me and many of my viewers being unjustifiably banned from general chat for saying the word oxymoron because a moderator thought it was rude and me jubilantly laughing at the misfortune. Everyone's being better. cheeky as shit. You're on your own. <laughs> You're just on your own. <laughs> Here's the rope. It's already got the hanging noose in it. Hell, Chat. Black Swan! Black Swan! Whoa. Rest in peace, my wow. friend! Wow! Screen, screenshot that, please. Screenshot right. that. Everybody stand and salute! Uh, rest in peace, my friend. Uh, you are a good Black man. Black Swan! You've taken one for the team. Uh, Point being, people being shitty towards me does not offend me. I'm more likely to laugh at it than anything else. Another factor I have to be aware of is the echo chamber. I explain this nicely in this clip, and I also elaborate further on the particulars of what I take issue with in this situation. Here's the thing, I... And this, this is where I start to have a minor sense of humor failure. Like, you, you wanna, you wanna ban my viewers. I think that's feckin' hilarious. You know, people going in there knowing that, knowing that he bans my viewers and, and still doing it anyway, probably deserve the ban. I mean, at the end of the day, it's QB's chat, it's QB's rules, he can ban people for whatever rules he sets in place. I mean, the fact that he doesn't disclose those rules makes him a bit of a bitch, but beyond that, like, I, I just think that's funny at that point. What I don't think is funny is this. When I wanted to gather material, about cooking it. and I wanted to gather material by being objective, right? Because my experience with the man has not been great, right? I have been soured by that experience. I, I, I am not a fair judge of his character because I have only, I'm in a bit of an e echo chamber, right? As, as a content creator, I'm surrounded by people who enjoy and like my content in the same way that Quickie Baby is. That very thing means I am surrounded by people who are more likely to agree with my opinions, whether those opinions are right or not, because they have already aligned myself with my content, with the, uh, my content, they have aligned themselves with my content and thus are more likely to agree with me because they like me as a person, not because of the merits of my argument. Echo chambers are very, very common on the internet, and it's something that I don't want to be swept up in. So what I did, right, is I asked, I asked multiple content creators, and I know a lot of content creators in the world of tank space, I asked every single one of them that I could for their honest opinions about Quiggy Baby, and I said, hey, I may post this in a video on this topic at some point, can I share your opinions and your arguments? I only got one response that I would consider in any way positive. Hello, how are you? Oh, 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 he missed one. Now it can't click me. One response that I considered positive. Only one. But beyond that, Beyond the ratio of that, you can argue all these content creators are just bitter that they don't have as many viewers, fine, whatever. I don't think that's the case, but you want to make that argument? Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, my main issue, my main issue with the fact that I got all negative responses is the, is the response to can I share your opinions? Can I share your opinions in the World of Tanks community about the most popular creator in this community? The vast majority of them said, no, I want to be kept out of it. I want my true opinions on the largest creator in this community kept private because I am scared of the ramifications of making them public. That is not okay. That is not a situation that should manifest 
within a community. That's, that's not right. That is fundamentally flawed. That's not a thing that should be the case. People shouldn't be there thinking, oh, I don't want to express my true opinions about this incredibly large streamer who is representative of the community as a whole because I fear his community and I fear him. That is bullshit. That is utterly bullshit. And until that changes, right, we have a feckin' problem. And it's one that I am going to confront in a very manly but hopefully mature fashion. It summarizes my contention quite concisely. And not me reaching out to these other creators was in aid of correcting for my own bias. Here's a snippet of the message that I sent to them. I wanted to ask if you had anything you'd like to share about QB or your experience with him that either supports or contradicts the notion of him being quite shitty and vindictive. I'm happy to talk on TeamSpeak if you'd like, or if you'd like your na name kept out of the topic altogether, let me know. Several people shared or pointed me in the direction of information on stories involving QB which would be relevant which we'll cover later. This complemented my own research for this video. Second research found me reading several articles and reddit posts and foreign threads life with vitriol outlandish claims and hearsay. Some were funny, such as these websites that appear to have been written either by an AI or butchered by translations. The AI that wrote this is clearly very knowledgeable on QB. <clears throat> Who is Quickie Baby? Quickie Baby is an English Twitch decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, his genuine name is Will Frampton and uh, has been spilling onto Twitch since 2012. <laughs> yeah, he's been spilling all right. <laughs> Quickie Baby has collected over 400k devotees on his Twitch channel. <laughs> he is one of the most noteworthy procuring decorations. <laughs> this is my favourite one though. This page will put a light upon the Quickie Baby bio, wiki, age, birthday, family details, affairs, boyfriend, not judging, controversies, height, weight, rumours, lesser known facts, and more. Stage name Quickie Baby. When your name, Quiggy Baby. Confession, Twitch streamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birthday, not applicable. Age, not applicable. Gender, not applicable. Birthplace, not applicable. Not applicable. Hometown, not applicable. Eating habits, non-vegetarian. <laughs> And this god-tier meme of a wildlife documentary, but instead of the animal noises, it's QB raging. <laughs> but sometimes, more unexpected sounds grab our attention. You f fucking Like this desert rain frog. Idiot! Squeaking viral sensation. Oh my god, it's the worst player in World of Tanks history. 11 million hits and counting. It sounds like a dog toy. It's so But actually, this bah! is the sonorous war cry of a very angry frog. That is so ferocious. Bad! Good internet. More please. Some, however, are not so funny. I do not want to make a hateful or spiteful video. To that end, I have tried to contact QB through Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and the email for several months leading up to the release of this video, so that he could have his say. So this video wouldn't just come out of nowhere, so that he could be prepared. He either has not seen those messages or has elected to not respond. Another thing that I did was I visited his Twitch streams a few times myself, interacting with chat, having a bit of banter, as you do. His behaviour towards me in those times was perfectly cordial. He treated me with a perfect amount of respect, thanked me when I subbed, even called mention to one of my comments. It was a far cry from the character on display in the previous clips, and it's something that I feel obligated to include. So, bias addressed. Let's take a look at some...
this is important because this is not the first time that QB has demonstrated behavior that has been questionable, or that would lead people to believe him insecure, petty, or childish. Some of the earliest recorded drama, if you like, was prompted by the so-called YouTuber Dream Team. This was a group of World of Tanks content creators who decided to band together to produce content greater than the sum of its parts. This included some big names at the time, such as Jingles, Pointy Head, Jedi, Circumflexus, and more. Quickie Baby, it seems, initially expressed an interest after being extended an invitation, though it seems there was some miscommunication between the entities. This is from Quickie Baby's 20,000 subscriber Q&A video. Panjo Kiyasu, you haven't joined the YouTube Dream Stream. Why? I, I, I wasn't invited. This is a question that gets asked all over YouTube at the moment. I simply wasn't invited. Just to clarify for this, I was effectively asked by an individual who is on said dream team to, I guess, work with him individually. At no point was I said it was going to be a tank company with all the biggest YouTubers, many of which who I get on quite well with. I guess this guy took it upon himself to then say that I didn't want to work with any of them. I think there's a very big difference between working with an individual guy and coming together with the whole of the YouTube community and creating something that's really cool. When the Dream Team videos came out, it was very interesting to see that a lot of the big YouTubers were very quick to say, Quickie Baby declined. This is frankly a lie, and I was quite amazed that they tried to pull this off in public. You guys are quite smart. You'll be able to figure out why it would be in their interest to make me sound like some maniacal evil villain sitting in a tower just wanting to play with myself and refusing to work with anyone in the community. Oh, William, I have no idea where people would get that idea. Look, bringing this up might seem a tad ridiculous a long time ago. QB was and is under no obligation to give his time or his platform to anyone. The reason that I include this is because it's the earliest example I can find of QB's quite standoffish attitude when it comes to collaboration. The next example is somewhat more familiar. Many may know that QB does marathon live streams in aid of various charities such as Special Effect. This is fantastic, and the money that he and the community raises for these causes is something we should all be proud of. However, during a charity stream around 2017, QB was hosted by Skill. Many of the chat said hi and talked to and about Skill after the raid, which bothered Quiggy Baby. So Quiggy Baby, of course, banned Skill during the stream. To me, that's... That's just wrong. To me, no, doing that is wrong. Exactly. Right? And it's not about you at that point, right? It's about the charity. And surely anything that helps that is good. And, and in my opinion, if you start banning people who've come in to help the charity stream from another community because they are talking about another streamer, doing that is a bitch move. This led to these messages being exchanged between the two afterwards. Hi Skill, just thought I'd offer a clarification as you deserve one. While I'd appreciate you keep our conversation private, in the end it's up to you. I respect you and I want to be honest, but I have no interest in drama that would come from our communities being involved in private correspondence between us. Recently. I've been bothered by viewers who are talking about you in my Twitch channel chat. I'm sure you get equally very tired of people talking about me or other streamers in your chat when you are trying to entertain. While I respect you as a player and fellow streamer, I hope you don't find it disparaging when I admit that I never watch your content and have no interest in my chat discussing it. While you're clearly very good, like what many other Play Watch streamers outside of playing World of Tanks and creating content on it, I prefer to watch other games in my funny time. Whenever you have come into chat, you have been very polite and well-mannered. You're obviously a nice guy, but viewers then stop talking about my content and consequently I can't interact with them. It's for, for this reason that I decided to remove your right to talk in chat. I'm sorry if it's a dick move, perhaps, but perhaps selfishly, I want my chat to resolve around my stream which I can in turn directly talk about and interact with. You're very welcome to use a ghost account and still chat away, I just don't want your celebrity to change the atmosphere of my channel. Guarding the host tonight, I didn't notice or realize it happened, and I apologize if you feel cheated. Perhaps the fact that it was for charity will provide some solace. Thanks for supporting them.
I had all notifications disabled tonight so the content would be focused on raising money for cancel and search and special effect. With all due respect, I would encourage you not to host me in the future as I don't have an interest in collaborating and I will not effort turn the favour. I wish you the very best of luck and I hope you understand my point of view. I'm very happy with my community, chat and stream and I don't want others affecting it. I've only ever had good words to say about you and will continue that way. Best wishes, Will. To which the response was, Hello, sorry for not responding straight away. I don't have notifications enabled when I get messages on Twitch. Yes, I agree, that was a dick move. I'm not interested in any collaboration either. This was the first time I've ever hosted you and I did it purely for charitable reasons. In my opinion, Charity streams unite different communities for a good cause, and hosting is one of the ways that is routinely achieved. You say you wish to avoid drama, and yet the current chat storms about this are a direct result of your actions by banning me during a live stream when a simple whisper would have sufficed. I would have respected your wishes in the matter, and the current drama would have been avoided. While we both have our own streams to concentrate on, as a CC, I think we also have a responsibility to the wider community. Whilst we don't have to actively unite communities, we certainly should not be causing division and drama. This is not the first time. I'm mindful of one of your your YouTube videos some time ago when we were both in the same battle. My viewers saw it live. They saw me communicating with you, explaining what I was doing and the condition of my tank. You entirely misrepresented that. Link to a deleted video to your viewers and those of mine who saw it and caused yet another storm, division and toxicity. There seems to be quite a disparity between your public and private statements. Live? Well, I'm surprised you're banned. Privately. Sorry I banned you, and therefore I find it very difficult to believe anything you say to me. I wish you all the best. You produce nice content for players, whether factual or not, and I wish you continued success with that. However, this repeated misrepresentation, causing drama, etc. is both unwelcome and unhealthy for our communities. I consider it entirely unprofessional. I shall make a final public statement in order to close down the chat storm and drama which you have created and you let the viewers draw their own conclusions. Kind regards, skill. Sometime after, these messages were made public, presumably by skill during the release of his final statement. QB, in response to the public state of their communication, said this on Reddit. Hi everyone, here's my opinion on the matter. Firstly, I'm disappointed in Skill's decision to make private correspondence between us public. I'd never spoken to the guy before, but I felt he deserved honesty. His choice to involve the community in the matter leads me to question his intentions as well as his self-proclaimed desire to avoid drama. In his message, linked to the previous message, he frequently mentions a wish to avoid drama and bizarrely points towards me for causing it. After reading this, I'll leave it up to you to decide who is causing the issues here, and additionally, who seeks to gain from it. His main talking point is that I removed his right to talk in the chat of my personal channel. But the reason I did this was to avoid comments from him like this, linked to a chat message we'll look at shortly. His passive aggressive and snarky nature towards me is obvious to anyone who actively follows his content, thanks to my community for bringing it to my attention. A mindset which, frankly, has no place between streamers. Skill often comes into my chat and talks in this manner to my own viewers, something I'd overlooked for months until recently when I decided to remove his ability to do it as it was distracting me from interacting with the chat. Unfortunately, I decided to do this during a 12-hour charity marathon for cancel and search and special effect. Donation link. A yearly event on my channel where together my community has raised over £100,000 for two unquestionably worthy causes since it began. His main problem with being banned is that it happened just after he hosted my channel, something I was completely unaware of at the time as I had disabled all notifications to focus only on the charities and not me. Just to clarify, I did not ban Skill because he hosted me. I banned him to avoid his snarky attitude towards me. Link to the same chat message. In retrospect, knowing his true character, I would do it again. In his message, he implies that I lied to my community, claiming that I did not ban him. This is utterly fallacious. At no point have I claimed this. See my actual reaction to his public questioning regarding the matter below. Deleted Twitch clip. Quote, 
Hey Skill, you've been banned in the stream. Are oh, you ho hosted me? Okay, man, I don't want to talk about that right now. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, I appreciate the five pounds for cancelling search and special effect. My reaction was of frustration slash bemusement. Like, someone clearly wasn't getting the hint that I didn't want him involved in my content slash events. Furthermore, I'd like to add that by this point I had been streaming for around 12 hours without a significant break, and I was experiencing mental fatigue that had just been pushing through out of sheer adrenaline with the staggering £24,000 we had raised for charity. I personally feel Skill's decision to donate to the charities and message attached was purely to garner attention to himself. Imagine being put on the spot publicly by someone you know actively slanders you and trying to remain calm and cool to not distract from the main goal of the stream, the charities. While this whole drama is a complete waste of energy, time and focus at an important time of year, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to read my opinion on the matter. If you have a further moment, I'd encourage you to check out donation link for cancelling search. And if you value the work they do, consider donating at QB's donation link. Okay, well then, times are wasting. What has Skill been saying? Why did you deserve a ban? What heinous comments have you been spewing in his chat, you naughty little Lithuanian man? Let's see just how mean that... Hello and welcome to... Not being a bitch! Cool. And you fail! Really? Wait, I mean, really? That's that's the worst example Stop! you could- You violated the law! Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence! So I'd like to call your attention to something here quickly. In QB's public message, he says, In his message, he implies that I lied to my community claiming that I did not ban him. This is utterly fallacious, at no point have I claimed this. Now here, QB is referring to the section in Skills message where he says this, there seems to be quite a disparity between your public and private statements. Live, I'm surprised you're banned. Privately, suddenly I banned you. And therefore I find it very difficult to believe anything you have to say to me. What's interesting to me is that QB addresses a very specific refutation of this. He implies that I lied to my community claiming that I did not ban him. This is utterly fallacious. At no point have I claimed this. However, QB does not address this very minor discrepancy. Privately, to Skill, he says, Recently, I've been bothered by viewers who are talking about you in my Twitch channel's chat. I'm sure you get equally tired of all those nasty viewers talking about me or other streamers in your chat. Whenever you come into chat, you have been very polite and well-mannered. You're obviously a nice guy. But viewers then stop talking about my content, and consequently, I can't interact with them. It's for this reason that I've decided to remove your right to talk in the chat. But then, as soon as he's talking to the public, I removed his right to talk in the chat of my personal channel. The reason I did this was to avoid comments on him like this. The worst comment he could find, presumably. His passive aggressive and snarky nature towards me is obvious to anyone who actively follows his content. What I think has happened here is that when QB sent this original message, he thought that Skill would understand and be on the same page. It, the reality, he thought that Skill would find his viewers talking about someone else annoying too. He thought that Skill was also insecure, and that's why he was honest with him here. Right? Recently, I've been bothered by viewers are talking about you in my Twitch channel's chat. I'm sure you get equally very tired. He was looking for understanding, common ground. Then, as soon as that wasn't the case and that went public, he was trying to save face. Oh no, I didn't ban him because I'm insecure, because my viewers were talking about other creators, even though I said that that's why I banned you. No, no, no. I banned you because you were being rude and disruptive and, and, and all these things. Press X to doubt. You make up your own minds, chat, but to me, it reeks of bullshit. <laughs> Oh, 
I like to think that I am a good judge of character. I've played with skill. I watch skill's content. And for you that I might like say that you think that the only reason that he donated to charity, that he hosted you while you were doing a charity stream, was to gain attention for himself. Ask yourself, which one of these looks closer to slander to you? Connect up, so it's actually none of them, because slander is spoken, but you get my point. I think that people have a tendency to see themselves in others. This comment worries me. That QB assumes the worst of skill, I think it says more about him than it does about skill. It indicates to me that QB expects skill to be self-serving and career-driven because those are traits that he himself is quite familiar with. There is hypocrisy here. You can't sit there and say it's all about the charities and then cause drama by banning someone because you are feeling insecure. There, there is palpable contradiction there, which I myself can only excuse because I myself am familiar with the fatigue that comes with streaming for long hours. It was a poor decision, doubtless. QB himself admits that. Perhaps it's more understandable in the light of how long he's been streaming. Working for that dog, but it never adds up at all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this next section is for William. Because I genuinely think that he needs to hear this. Will, I believe that you are insecure. I believe that your insecurities are damaging to not only yourself, but the community as a whole. Why do I believe this? Here's me explaining it live. Well, it's like, does that actually mean that he really doesn't really give a shit about the people in his chat and his, his viewers and stuff? Because I know we care. Oh, uh, no, I I genuinely think it, it's just it's just a thing for him. Like, like I have my things and my buttons, my things that, that really make me uncomfortable. I think his is he doesn't like people talking about other people. It, it makes him feel a little like this. This is how it makes him feel. I don't get what you're saying. No, someone's just farting in my ear canal. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, I, I think that's um, it, it's just a part of his personality uh, that he he doesn't want to confront, and so that's that's why he doesn't say it to chat. He doesn't want to be viewed as insecure. He he doesn't want to be viewed as I was wondering um dedicated wham. What's the recommended amount of dedicated <laughs> wham I should have to serve? Oh yeah, Bert. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I just want to, you know, I I I'm into mm. learning, you know, mm. because you know but I mean, seriously, because I'm thinking about starting streaming because I'm going to have to try to make a fucking living somehow. And yeah. Yeah, look, learning from other people's mistakes is almost as good as learning from your own. And the you know, ironic I thing is, and I say this with the benefit of experience, QB would be a lot better if he, if that is the case, in order to move past that insecurity, he has to first accept it about himself, to say, okay, why, why does this bother me? Why does it bother me when people talk about other streamers? What, what is it within myself that is manifesting as this? Because that's what I did. That, that's how I became who I am. When you sort of open and aware and honestly, pretty honest about even the weakest parts of me. You know, the fact that I'm a kinky transvestite who has weird gender dysphoria issues. Like, there's no part of me that I haven't introspected upon and eventually either bettered myself on or become okay with. And that's just healthy. So, eventually, you know, if I get around to uh, making this video and this, that, whatever, I do hope that at the end of all of it, QB turns around and says, okay, look, look, this has been a, a part of myself that I have, I have a weird thing going on, a weird problem. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to try and become healthier and better for it. And I, I genuinely believe everyone has the capacity to do, to do that, but whether he will is entirely up to him. I believe that Will Frampton is a genuinely good person. Many people have claimed that he's arrogant. I disagree. Throughout my research and experience with him and about him, I've seen on countless occasions 
him trying to make things right, taking accountability, making mistakes, as we all do. But I believe what's happening here is insecurity manifesting as arrogance outwardly through a socially defensive tendency. I believe that he's scared of other creators because some part of him feels inferior to them and as a result likes to keep people at a distance. Insecurity can appear outwardly very similar to arrogance, but the distinction is important when you're looking to deal with it. Here's the thing that QB should really, really take to heart though. QB, when you first constructed your content, your style, your ethos, the decision to have it all be about you, to not collaborate with anyone, may have seemed like a neutral, logical decision. Now. QB, you are the largest World of Tanks content creator in the world, and your choice to actively avoid discussion and networking with other creators around you is no longer neutral. It quite possibly never was. It is active. You are taking an active stance against the enrichment, the betterment of this community. I believe that communities, creators should rise together. Which is why I find a statement like this so telling. I'm sure you get equally very tired of people talking about me or other streamers in your chat when you're trying to entertain. No. I don't. Once again, here you're seeing yourself in others. You are so entrenched in this idea that it all has to be about you and that you assume the same nature in other people. When well, I can't speak for anyone, the, the viewers, people, streamers that I know love to hear, talk, and learn about the community as a whole, other creators, what they're up to, what they're doing. They understand the benefits of networking for both their growth and the growth and betterment of the community as a whole. You once implied that other people benefited from making you seem like you were sitting in your tower and refusing to work with anyone else. No. You do that. You demonstrate through your behaviour that you view other creators as competitors rather than contributors. You. You complain about snarky messages towards you, giving skill memeing on you as an example, presumably the most heinous example you could find of why he deserved a ban. I hate to break it to you, Sunshine, but comments like this. Posts, videos, memes, clips like this. You guys are great. Unbelievable. And I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, we were just... Someone brought up in the chat. They were started discussing a different streamer uh, in the chat that um, is not participating in this event. And I said that under no circumstances do I allow you guys to make fun or talk about other streamers. that aren't participating. Okay? Those are the rules. Just so you know. I'll ban you! I will ban- I'll ban anyone! <clears throat> I've got my finger on the ban button! Not made because Skill and Klaus are meany mean heads who are jealous of your numbers. They're made because you ban their viewers. Because you time out people who talk about them. Because you refuse to let the conversation be about anything other than you. They are made because of you. Klaus and Effect. You can't have it both ways. You can't sit there shutting down mentions of other streamers, going so far as to go to your desktop to actively time out those people, and then feel hard done by when people allude to and make fun of things that you are actually doing. To go further than that, the fact that you even recognize the cheeky nature of this comment tells me that you are aware of the wider narrative about you. The fact that you and people who are unaware of your behaviour are thought of almost like a cult. 
That same sentiment echoed by those creators who I contacted. Those creators who were reluctant to be honest with you and about you because they fear you and people who think like you. I don't know about you, but if I ever have someone who is scared to give me their honest opinion about me because they fear ramifications, that's an issue that I need to fix. This is your mess and your issue that needs fixing. Here's an issue that I foresee. If QB is as insecure as I believe him to be, he cannot see or hear about this video and consider it anything other than an attack, an affront, a threat. I expect if he ever does confront it to have some well poisoning going on. There were several examples of that that I've picked up on previously. For example, in the 20,000 subscriber Q&A video, where he actively suggests that the rest of the community are just jealous of his numbers or trying to exploit his popularity in some way. This is frankly a lie, and I was quite amazed that they tried to pull this off in public. You guys are quite smart. You'll be able to figure out why it would be in their interest to make me sound like some maniacal evil villain sitting in a tower just wanting to play with myself and refusing to work with anyone in the community. He did the same thing in the skill message. After ending this, I'll leave it up to you to decide who is causing the issues here and additionally, who th seeks to gain from it. He seems to have this notion that Everyone just wants his viewers and his popularity. So I imagine that his basic instinct may well be to try and undermine my credibility, to excuse, ignore, placate, or avoid. Basically anything to avoid actually confronting my points. He may say that I'm jealous of him, trying to start drama, whatever the case. For his sake, I do hope he listens to what I have to say. QB, people discussing and talking about other streamers, other content in your channel is not a bad thing. They're not doing it because they don't like you and want to take away or distract from your content or your experience. They're not trying to undermine you or make you feel excluded. They, they talk about other streamers and mention their names because they are part of the community. Because they help build and maintain the game that shaped your career. The, the community that you care about. The community that you want to grow. Now, what logic do I have here? I've just sat and told a man that I believe to be insecure that it's all his fault and it's all his problem. Yeah. But mature people, mature mindsets find power in that. They find power and agency in their own faults. To explain this further, let's look at two scenarios in which QB could respond to this video. Scenario number one. He decides that this video is just another hate video, that I'm jealous of his viewers, and that all of these people should stop interfering with his stream and his life. As a result, he has no power, no agency, no ability for him to change anything. He's just a victim of anything happening around him. Scenario two. He looks at this video takes the points up on board objectively, thinks about his behaviour and how it's impacting the community around him, and makes change. The result? Self-awareness, proactiveness, and ability to make change. And this is something that you can apply to a huge variety of situations in your life. If you want power to change, then accept the role that you play in your own circumstance. If you look at something as if it is your fault, then you have the ability to affect change and learn from that thing. So what needs to be stressed here is that when I say that it's his fault, I do not emphasize that to say, ah, you should feel bad. No. I say that because taking responsibility for a situation gives you power over it. And I want this to change. I believe and always have believed that QB could do a lot more good for this community than he already does. And I believe this video can stand as a guide for how to do that. One more example to drive this point home. This is Dave. Dave is getting bullied in school. Now, version 1 of Dave bursts into tears, says, oh, this is awful, and thinks, all of these bullies should stop bullying me. Dave, too, bursts into tears, says, oh, this is awful, and thinks, what, what can I do about it? Immediately, Dave, too, has power. Dave, one, does not. 
Dave 1 keeps being bullied and it keeps being awful. Dave 2 realizes that they pick on him because he's a scrawny, weak little puke, so he starts working out. They pick on him because he's lonely, so he works at making friends. They pick on him because he's ugly, so he accepts that he is, and he starts utilizing self-deprecation and not letting it bother him. And no one with any reasonable moral compass is going to look at Dave One's statement of they should stop bullying me and say, that's wrong. Of course, they absolutely should stop bullying him. But that's not how the world works. And that's not how mature people know the world works. Sitting there feeling sorry for yourself never solved anything. You have no agency as a victim of circumstance. Dave 2 recognises his weaknesses and works to improve them. Dave 1 blames life for pointing them out. Dave 2 has a strong character, and Dave 1 does not. So what should QB do? He doesn't need to do much. Two things I feel like could really help him onto the right track. Number one, try raiding someone. If anyone doesn't know what raiding is, at the end of live streams, you can choose to raid another creator, and Twitch sends all the viewers over to that creator. It's a great way to establish networking and, and drop a load of viewers onto someone, and, and the reactions and interface between the communities that they get is absolutely brilliant. QB does not do this. So try it. It doesn't have to be a big creator, it doesn't have to be anyone you know or, or threatened by, just another creator who will be excited and happy to be able to stream to and interact with your community. You could make someone's day, drop several thousand viewers on someone. It really is a pleasure to see how happy you can make someone else, it really is. The second thing you can do, allow and engage with discussion on and about other streamers and other content in your channel. You'll probably learn a lot about the community this way, and your chat will be richer for that change. You'll likely find that this discussion is a reality anyway, as people in your channel will generally be there to watch you. But talk of other creators should not be taboo, and if it is something that you insist on, at least add that low, legibly, to a rule set so that the chat know. Now for my part, I want to say this. If, after this video, QB starts raiding people, if he starts mentioning and allowing talk of other creators and talking about other creators, if he actually changes his mindset, then I make this as my vow. I will not take Credit. Some people might want to stand here and say, oh, I made QB change. No, that's childish. And it's unhelpful. Frankly, if QB has the maturity to look at a video like this and make positive change from it, that's an alpha male play in my book. And I want to give full respect to him in the event that he actually does. He's an intelligent guy. Needing some of his work is enough to see that. But logical and emotional intelligence are two vastly different things. So what I will not do, and what I don't want anyone else to do, is to dance about in his chat, saying, ah, Steve did this, blah, 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 blah. Right. The first time he decides to raid someone, if he ever does, I don't want his chat to fill up a, ah, you are raiding him because of the Steve video and stuff like that. Don't. Not only is it childish, it's bollocks. It just puts another barrier between him and change. Positive change. Changing is hard. Changing publicly is even harder. To conclude, it needs to be stated once again that QB as a creator has done far more good than bad for this community. He's been a huge part of my and many others' introduction to the game. And his consistency, his work ethic, is admirable. That said, I've presented arguments here that I believe adequately suggest that his insecure attitude and ethos when it comes to his community is damaging to every party involved. He would benefit from realising that the comments, clips, and narratives he finds so bothersome are largely prompted by his insecure behaviour. And in having that realisation, realise the power to change it. 
It's my belief that should he take the steps I suggested, not only would he grow in confidence, his viewers would respect him all the more. So-called hate for him would diminish sharply, and content creators that he views as hostile would turn out to have just been poorly making the points that I've made more concisely here. And once those issues that they were critically critiquing were dealt with, their respect for him would grow as well. I also believe that you making these changes would make this community stronger and more connected as a whole. It would assist you in your career, but also other aspiring creators who appeal to a subset of the player base that you can't or don't reach. The community, this game is stronger if we are together, and I urge you QB, look at yourself and how you are damaging that very thing. As a final word. To my other content creators uh, in the World of Tanks space, those who I contacted, those who I didn't, many of you didn't want me to share your thoughts, your fear ramifications, or fear of your status, whatever it might be. Now the door is thrown open, I will take the shitstorm, whatever. I urge you, share your thoughts in the comments. This is the time for you to be honest about your thoughts, your experience with the largest content creator in this space. Agree with me or contradict me, whatever, but stop hiding behind a pretense that this is okay when it's clearly not. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. Have a good day. And his what's good's a legendary, brutal stuff, like he does a thing, and screws it up. But the world of tanks is kindergarten, childish software, real men play armored warfare, PvE. And his business model is actually insane, making money off of sets, but doesn't have to play a game, also his leadership skills are dope as fuck. He says, YOLO up.